This Southern style cooking has taken over the United States and its fortunate consumers. It can make you wiggle, jive, and pass out before five. You know it as none other than soul food. Thousands of home-cooked meals and soul food-styled restaurants are mouth-watering, especially upon certain events and holidays. For example, no one will ever forget Pastor Shirley's Thanksgiving sermon that went viral. Look! I got beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, rams, hogs, dogs, chicken, turkeys, rabbits, you name it! Being that I'm from the southern state of Georgia, I have my own personal favorite restaurants. For example, Gladys Knight's Chicken and Waffles, located in downtown Atlanta, never seems to fail. Atlanta is a soul food kingdom, but only one joint is lorded over by the actual Empress of Soul herself. We love our southern cuisine. It's part of who we are. It's part of our heritage. And so our aim is to be a five-star restaurant that cooks soul food southern cuisine. I love performing. I love bringing you your love stories and your life stories and all of those things to you through my music. And that's the way we feel about our restaurants and our food. And so we go where we feel like they're needed. And that's why we're on Cascade now. So you want to come all the way downtown to get this good food. And uh... Why is it that food has so much control over human interaction? Besides the fact that we need it to continue living, I'm sure it goes much deeper than that. I was able to talk to soul food enthusiasts about where, what, and how they learned about their favorite dishes. So, sir, uh, I know you've heard of soul food before, right? I think I have. Okay, what is what is your favorite soul food meal? So my favorite soul food meal is liver and onions with white gravy. Oh, where'd you hear that from? Did you have any uh, origins or any parents or grandparents? My mom used to make me eat it all the time at Folks and I, love, and I still love it to this day. I'm now here with my friend Tim. Tim, what do you know about soul food, being down in the South? No, it's pretty good. I know a lot about it. I know there's some stuff I won't eat, but... <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite type? Uh, I'd say uh, oxtail with chitlins, and no, I'm just kidding. Uh, I like the... Um, I got the real soul food. Collard greens and cornbread. Collard greens and cornbread. cornbread. Yep. So, both you guys, when did you guys kind of realize or go to a place that had soul food? Any type of, you know, Detroit place or Louisiana or... Well, like, do you have a specific restaurant that kind of opened you up? Uh, I'm not time? too picky. I have lots of family gatherings, eating this as a kid. But if I had a suggestion, I would say Mary Max Tea Room or maybe Busy Bees. Any suggestions? Or are you just following him? No, I would have to go with Mary Max Tea Room for the one place or uh, uh, my dear grandmother's house or um, <laughs> Golden Crust. That's all about I know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Food is one of the largest parts of American culture. It's one of the only ways to get people from different backgrounds to sit together at a table and talk. Eating dinner as a family at the dinner table has been an iconic status quo of many. And some Sunday dinners never pass on the opportunity to get that kitchen fired up. As you can see, soul food has definitely created a name for itself. Starting from the southern states of the United States and spreading to a global phenomenon, it has definitely earned its name, soul food.